Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. Uh, I'm Chris, and I'm joined today by Sam, Stee, and Lou, and we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid Part 2. You are. I am. We're yeah. going to help you. You're, you're going to sit there for three hours, so... We're, we're going to help you. You're going to help. help me. You're mm. going to hinder me, basically. No, we're, we're going to help you to yes. death. Um, <laughs> as as you, you may be aware, if you watched last week's... Um, Lou has, uh, unfortunately for him, decided to <laughs> donate to a charity every time I die. And if you look right down at the very bottom of the page, you can see the death counter. Uh, Lou is in charge of updating that as we uh, as we play. And um, I died seven times in the first three hours, two hours, three hours of the two, game. Uh, two hours. One hour, one, one and three quarter hours, I think it was. So yeah. I'm so offended that by myself. Like, seriously, <laughs> honestly, it's. Be. Uh, you're an insult ridiculous. to yourself. I am. Um, call myself a gamer, you know. Anyway, so I'm just booting the game up now. Uh, we will be starting shortly. We we got up to what, what's it called? Raven. Just after you get through the hangar. The, um, the, the 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 sort of nuclear warhead bunker place. The basement. Second floor basement. That was it, wasn't it? We have to go <laughs> to the second floor basement of the nuclear storage facility. That's the one. That's where we're going. Yeah. Yes. So the next, uh, the next thing is what is it? A ninja fight? Is that the next fight? Pretty much. Oof. Oh, Pretty I think there's a little bit the Nikita launcher as well. When you do the gas corridor, and you've got to send the Nikita remote control missile. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And uh, hello to Adverto and Mythalo on the channel. Hi, uh, everyone. Thanks, thanks for coming. Hello. Around. Yep. They'll try and make it entertaining. Well, Chris will make it entertaining by getting killed by static objects. Yes. Let's get straight yeah. into it anyway. If there are any problems with the sound, let me know now before I start uh, clicking around. So I should point out that Steve and I um, haven't played this game. I don't At think all. you've played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, have you, Steve? I've played Metal Gear Solid 3 because I think I got it free with my uh, PlayStation 2 when I bought it, but I didn't right. play it very long. So you didn't enjoy it? It just didn't really seem to click with me. It's yeah. the same with a lot of people, though. It's not. It's the the gameplay is that is the thing that turns people off on these games. I think mostly people <laughs> can complain all they want about the the. You get a lot of complaints about the long cutscenes from fans, but those fans obviously aren't real fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true enough. Start, started off with a bit of trolling, eh? Oh oh oh. So, so yeah, yeah this is go on, Lou. Go, no, go on, Sam. I was going to say. I was just going to say what's happening in the game, but it's you just you got yeah, something else to say. Go ahead. No, I haven't. I was just going to break the awkward silence there, but please do tell us about the game. <laughs> awkward. Um, so you just get. In, they're about to tell you that you can't use your weapons in this place um, because of the there's basically warheads knocking around, and if you start firing guns in there, hey, you might cause a bit of a problem. So um, you can't. You're, you're physically incapable of using them. I, I, can't thought, I thought you could fire them, but it just blows everything no, up if you do. What's what's annoying is is that the genome soldiers aren't under the same restrictions as you. So if you get caught, if you get caught before they even start shooting anything, basically it starts to go like we're we're at like nuclear leak. Like as soon as you get caught as well, nice. from what I remember. So basically, I, I, if you get caught, your health starts to go down, and it's just bad times. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. <laughs> so don't get caught. <laughs> right, I'm probably going to get caught right now. Already. Oh, there's someone looking straight at you. <laughs> what? How? how what? I can't. I... Punch him! Kick him! Fucking wanker. Okay, okay. Good start. Why yeah. is everything yellow? Yeah. That's because the, that's the nuclear <laughs> leak. He just fell over. Yeah. His health has uh. been chipped away by the nuclear how, radiation. How could I have got away from that? It was... He was right there. I couldn't. Okay, cry. so when you respawn, just go straight to the left and press up against the thing. Um, oh, it's not going to do a core deck call as well for me again, is it? You can just—I don't, I don't think it's mandatory this time. It'll just ring. So if you just run shall to your I, left straight I, away. Left. Shall no. I just start incrementing yeah. the uh, death counter, regardless? Just yeah, just start You'll incrementing. <laughs> All right now. There you go. You remember where you're going up the stairs to your left? Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm not gonna um, 
There is a dude up the staircase as well when you get up there. Just to yeah. I can see him. I can see his blip. Oh, bugger off. Your savant like knowledge of this game is very impressive, Sam. I just remember it. I've played it through a lot. And you know yeah. what? I've not even researched it before this. I just as we go to the sections, I'm like, oh, I remember this bit. Basically, and it, each section we get to, I'm sort of having that thing. I'm glad someone remembers anyway. Hey, Chris. Shut your gift. <laughs> Uh, why, can't, why can't I go up and down? You press it with the directional buttons, not the analog stick. I, I was. I oh. can't use the. Uh, unfortunately, on this emulator, we've changed emulators this time round as well. Uh, we can't. It's not working. You can't select the door, the, the level. Oh. No. That could be an issue. In fact, yeah. it's going to be an issue because you need to, you need to get in this lift to progress in the game. Oh. Ah. Oh. I okay. just pressed. I just pressed circle. Let's hope it was done on the right floor. <laughs> yeah, no. this is the this is the Nikita area, isn't it? Um, oh, this is Psychomantis up here. I don't. I think you might get the Nikita missile launcher in this area, though. So you might as well. Let's go and let's go and do this guy in the toilet in first. Are you killing people first now? For taking a wee. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd crawl on a bathroom floor. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I can't remember if there's any. Um, <sighs> oh shit! 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 He shit. stopped. He stopped weeing. Oh what? Now he's going for another wee. Oh, he's washing his hands, I think. Yeah, it's going for. It's like nice to see some um, <laughs> hygiene been observed there by the guards. Yeah. <laughs> Always he... wash your hands after you've had a wee, kids. Which is funny because he's still got his gloves on, so you know he washed his gloves. <laughs> he started cleaning <laughs> his hand as well. <laughs> yeah. This is the female toilet, isn't it? You yeah. can't go in. Uh, oh, of course okay. not. You're not a woman. Come on. I'm, I'm a bit concerned that I'm not going to be able to get to the... Is this the right floor? This isn't the right floor, is it? I think you need to go down to the floor below. If you press it again, it might automatically take you to the second... Oh, looks right out Yeah, you did. Yeah, but you're inside the invisible cloak, cloak lift, aren't you? I yeah. just think it's not highlighting, you know. I'm just going to turn the sound up well. very slightly. Oh, you're going back to the top. Shit. All right, this could be an issue if we can't get down to that second basement. It's not going to be very good. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to go back to the other emulator with the bad sound. Is there a sound when you change? Oh, there you go. You're down. I'm in. So did, what did you do there? Just wait and it took you there? No, no. I just pressed down twice instead of once. But oh. it, it, there's just no visual feedback. Anyway, this is the Nikita bit, isn't it? Yeah, you can go to the right and do the little press up against the wall thing and you'll see <laughs> off the top just like you did with the DARPA chief. Uh, there he is. Yep. What are you doing? It's, a, it's a him. One of the main characters in the series, actually. Is he called point. Nikita? No. No. Oh. Nikita is a missile launcher which you'll be using fairly shortly when you go into the poison gas room of death. With the electric floor of death. I'm not going to have to increment that counter, am I? Uh, I um, don't know. No, no. <laughs> Just don't run onto the electric floor, Chris. As that's the best advice I can give you. I don't. I don't need full advice for the game. I do remember quite a lot about it. You know. I'm just... <laughs> Chris, okay. if you shoot them, make oh, sure you're one, using a gun oh, to one. shoot them. <laughs> I've already got these twats telling me all this stuff anyway. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So we they tell you, then I just say it again. What they've just said all beforehand. I like the um, smattering of magenta and he's static there. That's a nice touch. Who are you? Just call me. So is hard, aren't you, guy? Deep. Oh, it's nice. It's the worst, worst pseudonym ever, isn't it? It's a real one, though, isn't it? Isn't it CIA operative? Was called Deep Throat. Yeah. Which I just mentioned about the uh, the Watergate one. They said, yeah, but not him. Well, why get why pick that name then? <laughs> right. So um. Dying. Call me Jesus, not him, just Jesus. So I think you have to go back to the. I think you were right on, the, on basement number level one is where the oh, launcher actually is. Oh, uh, dude, what I did, did I not, just say? I did not. I meant to press back. <laughs> Chris, you're being killed by the floor. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. So I am going up to the next floor then. I think it was that one. Yeah. I think this bit. I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. It's hard with you guys talking to me at the same time. Come on. <laughs> so that's the point of a live stream. Um, yeah. I might have to turn the sound up slightly again, actually. 
I do need a little bit of feedback from the game. Right, um, so we're on B... You're on B2 now. You want to go to B1. So that should be B1, hopefully. So there's Just... no visual, there's like no overlay visual feedback in this emulator. Um... It's a bit annoying. Yeah, because the buttons are supposed to be highlighted. The one that you're selecting is supposed to be highlighted, so you know where you're going. Yeah, there'll, there'll be probably be some game fix or something like that that needs to be enabled or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly where it is in this room, but it's probably in the bottom left or right, so that you have to go right to the other end of the room to get it. Um, and I don't think that Meryl in disguise is in this area yet either until you've done the green fox bit. Mate. I really haven't got the patience for this type of game. You don't have to crawl everywhere. I'm just choosing to do that because <laughs> I, I don't want to kill people. I don't really get why you have, you don't really don't need to crawl though, like because the guards can't hit your footsteps unless you're on certain types of footing. So generally, you can just run up right behind them as long as you're not on a certain type of floor. And the normal floors oh, like that. For yeah. Fuck's sake. At least oh. he didn't hear you. No, so no, I try not to kill you on Chris, is that just the way you normally play this? <laughs> oh, I'm hiding in the toilet. That's not gonna be that's not gonna be a good idea, is it? But it might be in this in this difficulty mode, they might just walk in and go, he's not here and walk out again. There you go. <laughs> is there there I, you watched go. Lou, I watched Lou play it for about two oh. seconds. Oh hang on. Uh, <laughs> We're returning your positions, having a piss. Yeah, that's his on duty. He stands sure very final. far away. I think he's quite confident in himself. <laughs> he's just got a good aim, and he drinks too much coffee. Apparently, <laughs> squeezes it out. Yeah. It's actually a, a fair bit easier with this uh, map. I'm not actually looking at the main game screen at all. That's another criticism of the game: is that you end up watching the Solaton radar and not the game. It's the original uh, game, um, top down, like. Yeah, this is basically the, the exact same thing, but it's 3D models of the, what you're watching rather than 2D. Right. It's top it down. Seems to me then that the menu, the, not the menu, the map was probably. Oh mate! Oh Jesus! <laughs> God. <sighs> there we go. It's gadded up. <laughs> it's 15 minutes two down. So if we extrapolate that out over three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mate, he said the entire series and Metal Gear Solid, like, f four, I think, is like, what, 50 hours long or something ridiculous? Yeah, but 25 of that is, is cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if Chris will find a way to die in cutscenes, <laughs> Snake will be drinking a cup of coffee and the coffee will just, like, melt his face off or something. Quick, you can make it into that one. There you go. This is the Nikita Remote Control Missile Launcher, which is. Is quite nifty for this situation. It's quite useful in the Vulcan Raven fight, and it's also very useful in the second Sniper Wolf fight. So and this the is, this is an actual well. weapon that Snake can use. You can't. Uh, yes, you can't really use it in the High D fight, mate, because the High D is on a higher level. The Nikita only flies at, you know, uh, f f face level, I guess. You, you can totally see one. your head there. You can totally see your hair. <laughs> Would you rather he did or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just take that as that's fine. <laughs> he was behind an object, he was invisible. <laughs> What's that suspicious that... haircut over there? <laughs> oh, in quick, quick, quick. Probably just a rat with a barber. <laughs> <laughs> Chris told me that you watched that um that dishonored no trace run. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it a lot, that's what I have funny. to say. There's that bit we'll where we'll he's put a link to that in the video. It's very funny. There's a bit where he's like, where he kills a lot of guys, and then this guard walks up and he goes, "Well, he's just looking at his friends being devoured," and he goes back to his job. What an awful right. day! How do you fire again? <laughs> uh, square, and then you press triangle as soon as you've done it to go into first person mode, or you can control it from above in uh, the old isometric square. Whatever. How do you fire? For fuck's sake! <laughs> That's how often he... you actually press the fire button in this game. You only need it for boss battles. Um, did you say this is a nuke launcher? No, it's a it's a remote missile launcher. All right. So you can control the missile as he's doing now remotely. You can either control it from the top down view or like this first person, which is All right. far better way of controlling it. So this it's is a missile. Handy. Yeah, it's yeah. Like it's a little missile. From Unreal tournament. Does it open doors? <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's one. It, oh no, do I, do I do two or is it just the one? It's just the floor. 
just the floor for now. I, mean, I don't know if you can get into any of these rooms, but if you want to investigate, obviously go back out and come back into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just about game. to. Uh, I can't remember if level two card will open any of these doors. There might be a there's a gas mask in here, but I'm not sure if you can get it yet. Level three. Level three. three sorry, card. soz, soz. You got the level three off the tank guy, didn't you? I can't remember. I think you did. Yeah, it flew out of his pocket as he was being exploded by a grenade. You know, like it would. Oh, what <laughs> idiot! Ah, essential for this section. Shut your face. <laughs> Uh, so Steve, you what, wish you were as good as me at this game. <laughs> Steve, what what is it that you um, like in a stealth game then? Because I know that you do enjoy stealth games. You don't necessarily play them stealthily. Uh, what you're classing as a stealth game? Well, um, just uh, given a, a game which gives you the option, like Deus Ex, for instance. I know that you. I think you ran through that with the rocket launcher, didn't you? The get gun. Uh, it it just depends on what mood I'm in. Sometimes I like to take a more direct approach. Sometimes I like to you know sit back and snipe from miles away. Right. Um, I don't know. It, I, I like having the option. I yeah, I mean, I do. I well, do. You, you're doing this a little bit. It is touted as a stealth game, though, isn't it? And uh, I guess. Oh bollocks! Uh, I guess games like um, like Thief and and um, uh, what's the other one? Thief and uh, Splinter Cell that we were talking about, mm. they are kind of forced stealth games. If you try and get into a fight, you're basically going to get bummed. Yeah, you, you, you get punished for it. Whereas, um, Whereas... Deus Ex, Skyrim, um, a lot of the games which have a stealth mechanic in it but don't force it upon you. Yeah, I, horror for you. Mm, I love this bit. I do like yeah. to play the stealth option. This game, I would say that the earlier Metal Gears do force you more into the step. It's not that it force you into it, it's just that it's very, very advisable. It's yeah. the path of least resistance to be stealthy. You are going to be outclassed and gunned down if you try and be Mr. Killer. I mean, in this game, it's, it's an infinite spawning enemy, so once you're in alert mode, if you keep shooting, they just keep coming. And you right. have to hide to stop that, um, or get to the next area, but usually the doors lock and that when you're in alert mode and, or whatever, so... I've read anyway. that um, the best part about stealth games is sneaking behind everyone, completing the objective, and then shooting your way out. It's double the fun. <laughs> and I do agree with that. <laughs> that's quite cool. Best of both worlds. Oh, what's Okay, so we've got the uh, the ninja guy again. He's just cut all these guards up. Um, as you do. Yeah, as you do indeed. Look at how cool he is. He even is. In, like, even in low, low res graphics, he still looks cool. Even in. Even with pixels bit. the size of watermelons. Yeah. There's really creepy music playing this, which obviously I think we've not got the sound for, but... Uh, Why is that yeah, there's like red ghostly red? noses and... Uh, ghostly noses? Ghostly noises playing. In Go the... Ghostly Moses? Ghostly yes. noses. Oh, noses. Yeah. <laughs> noses, as in the, the things on your face. He's not actually dead, that guy. He's not, he's still breathing. Are you going to save him, or do you reckon you should go and... Can fight I save him? No. If you got, <laughs> more, more you got a, there's not a defibrillator in that <laughs> stuff you got. I don't think. Level. All oh, right, he's cut the thing open. Uh, right. So this is this is where we see someone piss themselves, I believe. This is the introduction to the legendary character of Otacon, who is known for crying a lot and weeing himself. Look at the state of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's steam yeah, coming off him. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> Mate, this game was ahead of its time. They had steam, piss, and everything. The guys in the toilet <laughs> had it as well before. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, what next? Everyone wobbles like it's brilliant. Like everyone in this game is wobbling. Yeah. Ache. Well, some of it's. I think obviously they wobble their heads to make them give some character when they're speaking. Um, because there's no animation on their, you know, face. So <laughs> they had to deal with the best that they had. Introduced as Cyborg Ninja, yeah. revealed who it actually is later on. It, it does, yeah. Even if we told you now, you wouldn't know who that it wouldn't, who it, it is. It wouldn't mean anything. I mean, it's is get, it, it Snake's mum? Yes. Yes, ah, exactly. So. Fucking hell. Amazing. <laughs> Joanna Snake. <laughs> it looks a bit like, um. It looks a bit like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> Could, yeah, you never know. Could be modelled after him. Jeff Goldblum should play him in the live action film. I think he's uh, got a uh, uh, stop. Uh, Metal Gear. Uh, that's basically <laughs> Jeff Goldblum in every film, isn't it? 
He's the same oh, character. There we go. Come no on, Jeff. <laughs> wow! I did not lock it. I love watch the fucking mess that we're about to create in this room when he hides in a locker. It's class, yeah. <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? So, do you remember how to beat this dude? Not off the top of my head. Well, he's already hand got one hand. eye, so he's got no it's depth. Stupid question, isn't it, Sam? S say that again, Sam. Hand to hand is the basis of all combat. Right. Only fool trusts his life to a weapon. Is that what he just said? No, he will say it when you start punching him, though. <laughs> this guy is a bitch, though, from what I remember. It's just a case of t waiting for him to attack. Um, or basically, I don't know. I try to remember. I think at first, the first round, you can just sort of go up and punch him. And he's he getting a bit. He gets a bit horny as well, doesn't he? While you punch gets, him in the face, he gets a bit rad. Yeah. <laughs> Match to horny or ball. Yeah, the, 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 the. Oh. Fifty Shades of Snake. He's going to put his sword away now because you've shown honour by fighting him hand to hand. Yeah, Mythalos commented on the graphics as well. I think they are. It's it, 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 Regardless of the quality of the hardware it's running on, a well-designed game will look good. This looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with the age mm. and the, the fidelity of it. It does. It, it does look cool, and it's they sort of they use Shit. the camera quite well for the time period as well. Yeah, he's starting to get a bit aggressive now. I think this is where you have to sort of wait for him to attack, dodge it, and then attack him. Sort of period of the fight. Shit! Yeah, I there you go. Go. fucking oh. forgot about my rations. Double figures. Shut up. How many is that in total now? Ten. Ten. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. I owe ten pounds to charity because of Chris's mediocrity. Right, I'm going to get you to play a game that... In fact, I want you to run through this after me, after I've played it, and then you've got the advantage how about, of knowing... How about well, that's Chris, not really fair, because he's never how, played it before. How about, Chris, I play a game that I bang on about loads that I'm really good at, and don't yeah. die? <laughs> <laughs> and how about... <clears throat> <laughs> I never said I was good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we assume because you never shut up about it. That's because it's awesome. Can you not see that? <laughs> right. Ration sorted. Boom. There are a couple in this room somewhere. Yeah, there's one over here I saw a minute ago. I am starting to see what you mean about the bosses, though. They, they do seem to be... They, they have interesting strategies and not just the same strategy over and over. All of the bosses are like this still throughout the entire series. Mm, they're quite. There's a lot of them. Um, yeah, they don't really repeat themselves. There's certain themes that repeat themselves, but uh, you generally your tactics to beat them. There's, there's usually like a fist fight you type one, but even those vary in, in how you do it. And yeah, um, it's very. It's almost like the game is built around the boss battles in a way. You sneak between them. Yeah. Because there's, there's quite a lot of them, and they're all. Especially in this game, and I'd say Metal Gear Solid 3, they're all very iconic as well. They're very memorable and individual. Yeah. This is what I was on about when I was talking about con ah! uh, uh, Mega Contra, Probotector, in the boss battles mm -hmm. episode. Basically, boss. the entire game is bosses with a few kind of actiony bits to mm. punctuate them. It's really difficult to like actually run away from him because you can't do any jumps or you know spins or whatever. No, there's no roll in this game. It's just ah, and all you need to do is miss him once and he's got you. Yeah, I think there is. I think he's got invincibility frames as well. Like if he's doing a certain move and you try and attack him, it won't register. I think so. Like like when he's flipping around, if you try and hit him whilst he's in mid flip, it won't hit him. Yeah. He has to be on the ground. But you also get a bit of invincibility as well during. After you've been hit, you get a little bit of it, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's just got, I think he's just got an attack pattern. Um, flip, Tell you what, flip, it's jump sort of thing. It's very smooth on the stream as well, this game. It's look, yeah, it's, it is very, very smooth. I, I, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with how good this looks on this emulator. Mm. For anyone who cares, we're running on the EPSXE. Yeah, which was which last is... updated in 2005. Yeah, but at least it doesn't have crappy sound like um, PSX does. Yeah. Go on, mate. I, but if I remember right, if we go underneath one of these um, desks, there's a there's a ration as well somewhere. But I don't need it at the moment. There probably is, but would you want to go under there whilst he's running after you? No, definitely not. Can he follow uh, me, mate? Whoop. Oh, yeah, bitch. I think he's. Uh, I think if you get down to about half health, does he start really having a, an epi? <laughs> he's, he's getting a lot faster. Um, 
Yeah, he start as he sort of starts to actually damage him. He starts to go a bit crazy. I think he's going to start to go a yeah, bit crazy his head, now. His head starts to. Oh no, that's at the end, isn't it? It's at the end when he really goes mental. But he's ah, there yeah. you go. He's, so he's he's now hiding in stealth mode. Oh. You can see him straight away with the thermal gun. I know. I'm mate. just about to do that. <laughs> There's no chance I would not be running around with the thermal goggles on at this point. But obviously, if you don't find him quickly, yeah, it starts going after you. But he'll stand there for a minute, and then if you don't go after him, he'll start walking after you to get you. Punch him! Kick him! The punch, punch, Fingers kick, crossed combo. should be alright for the rest of this fight now. Got the hang of it. Well, he's, he's, there's a bit when he starts to go properly crackers, but I think you can start shooting him when he's in that state. You don't have to have <laughs> like fist fight him anymore. Like old times? What do you mean? What do you mean, Cyborg Ninja? Old times? Is that like you know each other? Are you a friend, possibly? Oh shit, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, he does that. <laughs> what happened to your rations? Did you use them all up? I must have done. I'm sure I had two left. Didn't you Me to oh, be a thermal goggles. Oh sh yeah. Shit. You got bitch slapped. Oh god. He punched a load of paper out of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was in the rations. He hit him so hard that the desk, like the papers on the desk, flew off. <laughs> That's a nice little touch, actually. It does actually. He starts to, as he starts to do his like more powerful attacks, all the computers get smashed up. The whole room ends up getting smashed up by the end of the fight, pretty much. M MGS two is is a lot more. He it's a lot heavier on the detail as well around that kind of stuff. Yeah, do you remember this, at the beginning bit? There's like a little bar area in the ship at the beginning, and you can shoot every bottle, and the liquid will come out according to where you shoot it. Yeah, so if yeah. you shoot it at the top, a little bit will come out. If you shoot it at the bottom, loads will come out. Ah, that was amazing back in the day. You do get the sense that the development team really enjoyed working on this. I get the same sense from um, Borderlands 2 and a few other games. There's a lot oh. of games which are really well loved, but the, 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 everyone who worked on them said it was a nightmare. Yeah, mm. like and then there's games like this where it looks like everyone really enjoyed putting all these little touches into it. Um, well, Kojima is is well known for it. He's a he's a bit of a detail whore, I think is the right term for it. Technical he is, term. but from what I've gathered, he does encourage his staff to um, to come in with with ideas for stuff as well. Like he will encourage the the rest of his team to be creative. And um, I remember there's a, there's like a, on the special edition of Metal Gear Solid Two, there's a sort of making of documentary, um, and he was sort of saying to people, we want gameplay ideas. Um, that, are gonna, that we can then fit into the narrative, you know. Oh, bollocks. So yeah, it, it, I think he does encourage that creativity, even if he has the final Fuck. say over everything that happens. There's a lot of people putting a lot of ideas into it. I need more rations. <laughs> Kicked in the face. <laughs> <Use a laughs> you got run over. This is just like fighting a tank, isn't it? He's a twat. Look, he's... he's... Yeah, more least. combat moves on you now. I think every time you attack him, he will quickly <laughs> retaliate, so you have to try and just avoid it and then go in again, sort of thing. Roger, you did it pretty well before. Yeah, Chris, you did it once. He's, t he's just slightly faster than me, and if you don't get a good head start on him, he punches you. Yeah. He punches you to the back of his heel. You can, obviously, as he's like coming after you, does a flip or whatever, you can change direction and he'll keep going in the same. He can't yeah, take yeah, yeah. care of anything. It's just, it's just getting the right the timing. Yeah. yeah. If you go anywhere near his little spinny kicks, you get you get knacked. Dude. Oh. So, is it, has anyone in chat played this? Does anyone have any any anecdotes or. Ev anything? Everyone on the planet, apart from you two, have played this. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's probably unlikely that actually. Uh, that just, that, that yeah. just makes us two very cool. It's a man like uh. game, this, it really is. You know, you, you can't you can't love every game on the planet. No. I, it took Give me a bloody well, good try. It's, it's the same as Final Fantasy VII. It was um it didn't hit me immediately. You know, it was I, I needed to I needed a few goes at it to love it. Final Fantasy VII would hit me before it was released. I bought it the day it came out. We all did in fact, but everyone I know. Um, we'd already been completely bowled over by all the demos and videos yeah. and stuff that had come out. Every so single was, magazine that came out that mentioned it, we'd bought. It, it, the marketing really worked for that game. 
it was a big, big release when it came out. As well, I, I didn't even know it existed when it came out. I was well late to that party. There were TV adverts for it, I'm sure, at the time. Yeah, there were. There were. Yeah, but I didn't watch TV. I haven't really watched TV my entire life. Fair dues. Thankfully. That does that does put you in the minority, though, of, of people know, in know, the know UK. <laughs> I didn't say it was the right thing to do. Right, can I turn the thermal vision off now? Yes. Now that he's gone to mental mode, he can turn it off. He's not hiding anymore. I think can if I you play... shoot him? Uh, no, not yet. When he starts to when he starts doing the sort of uh, ex when he's just sort of doing the the orbs of power coming out of him. When he's got like the blue, <laughs> there's like a blue sphere around him, and he's shooting out electricity and stuff. Then you can start shooting him, but you're still fist fighting him for now. Right, is he going to jump over here? He's doing. He's slow, but he's got like each one of his attacks like will deck you really hard now. <laughs> and I think basically as he comes towards you, he's going to stealth dodge around to the back of you and then do a punch. So as you walk towards him, there you go. And then, oh. ooh. So you do, yeah, you'll do it twice, obviously, and then you'll basically wait for the punch. No! no. Not twice! <laughs> Not twice! <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. There you go. What? Just repeat, repeat. Hey, more. No! 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 no. <laughs> I've got no life left, I'm gonna die. When he's on his knees being emotional, you definitely can't hit him, come on. This is All right. a computer game, that's death. No more rations. Oh, well, I've got one hit left, basically. Come There's on. no other advice other than just just be calm. Don't and... be shit. Yeah, be calm there's and a, don't a, be there's shit. There's another ration under a desk, I'm sure there is. I don't think it's a, it's a good idea to try and search for it now. Is there a ration in that left corner? Oh, you've already been there, haven't you? Does it? Does he? Does he do the jumpy thing twice? You say? He does the, the, just, to he, he just like he does the sort of stealth dodge twice. Yeah. So one, two, punch. Right. More. Then he'll say more, more. Quite kinky, yeah, isn't he? He is a little he bit. He is kinky bastard. He's into the bit of the old S and M. Snake and magic. <laughs> Snake and metal. <laughs> he's got his metal armor on. I remember that punch. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he has a very unique punch, Solid Snake. Well, you like... only did it once, then. <sighs> Alright, mate. It's not like it's set in stone. The general <laughs> tactic, <laughs> though, is sound. Can we agree on that much? Alright, <laughs> alright. I've got one. I'm, I'm stressing here. I've got one, like, hit left, and, or I'm true, fucking true. dead. All it takes is one dodgy camera angle and I'm knackered. I think maybe one or <laughs> two more times. Should the mechanics of the game? No, hang on, hang on. I that was one <laughs> of the things that could happen. Or I could just spack it up entirely. That's I think more one or like... two more combos that he's going to go into this, proper. Two more hits, combo. two more hits and he's dead. <sighs> Does he do anything else after this kind of phased shadow? Yeah, he starts to go proper crackers, but it's actually easier from that point because he's, he's not really fighting, he's just having a massive spaz out everywhere. <laughs> go, go, go! Punch him in the... No, Put maybe me. two more, actually. Maybe, maybe not one more one. combo after this. He's, he has to have a little bit of health left for his last stage, but you're then just going to shoot him with the machine gun after that. Come on, mate. In fact, you have to, because if you try and get close to him when he's having his... That's good, blasts, Snake! <laughs> then uh, it will just kill you. Good, he's still doing Smack that. Smack him in the tits! He's jumping. <laughs> just punched a window. Oh, hurt this me could more. Be it. This I think could that be might it. be the one. Oh, okay. It's just like you have to actually take all his health off him then, I guess. Right, now yes. he's going to go into mental mode. Fucking assault rifle in his face. <laughs> oh no. Yes, you have to shoot him from a distance. Oh, he's... The aiming is quite tricky. Oh yeah, very <laughs> tricky, especially considering I haven't got an analogue thing anymore. Yeah. Does the analogue stick not work with the emulator? We, we uh, can't work out why... Yeah, no. we can't work out why it's not working. I it think it might be previously. you've got to turn it on. You have to get at right angles to him then, so you can just basically press up and it'll shoot at him. <laughs> Shooting through Got the him. glass, very clever. Fucking right on there. Woo! Oh. oh, look at his big smiley face. He looks so happy. He's happy that you shot him and punched him. Here he him. goes. It can't be. It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. You were killed in Zanzibar. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's head. That's his mental head that I remember. This, yeah, this is when he starts to go. You think there were heads wobbling before? You haven't seen nothing yet. Look at him go. <laughs> Wobble head extraordinaire. The medicine. The medicine. The medicine. <laughs> I'm losing what myself. Fucking his head off the floor. <laughs> well, why? Why? What's happened to everyone? Um, well, it becomes apparent. <laughs> he's got his own story going on. This guy. He's losing himself. He already oh. wants to be hurt. Now he wants to lose himself. In fact, I would say all of the ninjas in this game, yes. in this series, they've all got their own little thing going on, and they don't really get involved with Snake's main plot, apart from occasionally coming along and knacking everybody up. Yeah. Usually having some sort of psychotic slash extremely violent episode at some point. Yeah, and Snake just left there going. <sighs> so you haven't actually killed him then? No, no. No, no this is Japanese, Steve. You don't kill anyone in Japanese you games. You basically punch them to with one one bit of the health left again and then they say, You beat me, but I'll be back. Well, there's a few of the bosses in this game. You do just kill them when you kill them, then they, they stay dead. But yeah, at least like four of them have, either come back later in the game or come back later in the series. You've grown strong, Snake, but I'll be back. You were lucky this time. <laughs> yes, that's the other yes. one, yeah. I think, so what, um, I think also what, I actually said that in that fight because you got lucky. <laughs> Are we, um, we, we're talking about uh, donation incentives as well at some point, aren't we? Yes, I did mention it in the chat. Basically, I'd like, to, I'd like people who are more knowledgeable about the game to suggest things that we can do in it. So well, we, alternate we ways Sam to kill can suggest boss. things, and we'll give alternate ways to. Well, well, this game isn't so much like that, though, unfortunately. It's not as many. Metal Gear Solid Two, you can do stuff like this: seagulls and stuff you can shoot, and you can slip in the seagull poo on the roof. To well, let's, let's or do, you can complete uh, you can complete Olga without shooting the light or something. You know. Yeah, let's yeah. Start, something like that. Let's start with Metal Gear Solid Two then. So right. we'll think while we're playing through this, because I imagine maybe one or two more sessions, and we'll have finished this game. Um, hopefully. I think, um, I think so, yeah. We're going to hopefully start moving a bit quicker now than we did at the beginning, but yeah. Yeah. Now Chris knows how to operate a joypad. Um, so I think, yeah, if we do the um, just donation incentives for Metal Gear Solid 2 and above, if you guys can come up with some ideas for things that we can put up as incentives, then we'll do that. And all the donations, by the way, go to Child's Play, which is a charity that helps um, children around the world via games. Um, We'll, we'll put a link to the website in the YouTube description. And there's also a very nice logo next to Sam's um, eternally stoic face. Yeah. Probably got to change that picture, I think. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah. So basically, um, that, that, whole co that whole little codec call basically said that ninja is uh, an old comrade of yours called Grey Fox, who you fought against in Metal Gear 2 and you thought you killed him. He's like a, a friend that turns into an enemy. He was scooped up by the shady government, treated, you know, had mind control tests done on him, all kinds of stuff. He was then surgically grafted into that cyborg armor. Doesn't remember who he is, and he's just been sent out. He's like, he's like, a, he's like an agent working for the government, but also against you and everyone else as well. Right. So he's basically like a, a bit of a, a spanner in the works. I love how, I love how Hal is is dead clever. You know, he's like. So you're here to rescue. He's in charge of, of Sorry, basically no. not. In, did he invent Metal Gear? He designs this version of Metal Gear. Well, is he, is he the, the, like the original inventor though? No, because Metal Gear was around before him. Right. Okay. So he, he designs Rex <laughs> specifically. I'm okay. But he's he's just a total and utter klutz, well, isn't he? Through the entire series. Yeah, he's not. He's never does anything cool, does he? Really? He got cool. He got cool. Hasselhoff hair. <laughs> well, yeah. He he, he basically deal? he's that guy who's there to to show the emotions and have the sort of weakness that Solid Snake is like just incapable of having as a person. That's kind of why these two are, they sort of become like best friends and the, they're like the two that are together, you know, fighting the good fight. And they sort of bounce off each other. Otacon's basically the soft, weepy, nerdy guy. And Snake's just the tough as nails. Badass. I never really saw... I'd, I'd never seen Snake as, like, the proper, like, tough as nails guy, though. I mean, I know he is, because he's kicking the crap out of everybody. And he wouldn't be sneaking around like a pansy if he was that hard. Oh, look at that product placement <laughs> in the background. Police not. Police not. By Hideo Kojima. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's not, he's not above that, is he, Hideo Kojima? No, definitely not. I would play my other game. Clear missile on Rex. <laughs> so 
you really never played know. police knots personally me neither i think you, i don't know what console it was even on built by a separate department and the president i, I don't know i don't even know if it's a playstation game or what, what it is i think it's playstation Baker. Yeah. ah it's not really relevant i think we're about to see a clip of it in a minute because autocon starts talking about it do you not see all the nuclear nuclear Nuclear. Say it, Chris. Nuclear. Um, <laughs> do, you not, do we not see like um, FMV sequences with nuclear stuff in this? Uh, yes, you do. Yes. Um, we've already seen somebody who's talking about pounds of muff. Remember? Pounds of muff. <laughs> I just remember occasionally you see a really jarring FMV sequence in these games, and it's yeah, live like, action stuff. Yeah. They're in all of them. Yeah, someone all the earlier. Sure of a nuke launch. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Buff. That was probably it, actually, yeah. I'm an idiot. So is this the Metal Gear? Is this the Metal Gear? This is Metal Gear Rex. Yeah. So this is the first uh, the first incarnation in the Solid series. Which is yes. the best Solid? Yeah. But that's is it which game is the best? No, is it which is the best big metal tank device? Well, this metal is Metal Gear, Gear Rex. There's Metal Gear Ray that comes in in 3 onwards? No, no, yeah, sorry, 4, isn't it? But no, Metal Gear Ray is in Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, and in Metal Gear Solid 3, it's obviously back in time, so it's the shell yeah, yeah. hard. Um, well, on, and then in Metal Gear four, Solid 4 is the geckos. A little, the little geckos in oh, 4. That's yeah, the, yeah. technically the new Metal Gear. Um, so they my, my personal favourite is probably Rex, though, just because it's got that big, yes. chunky look to it. Ray's more sophisticated. Ray, of all of them, is probably the most formidable in terms of as a machine. But Rex is just, he just looks cool. And it screams for something. In fact, they all scream. The Metal Gears scream. It's like, it's a yeah. robot. Why does it scream? So this exercise is designed to test <laughs> they have that, like, a, like an eek, a screech that they do. It's like, why? It's like why did they program me to feel pain? Yes. <laughs> I was just, I watched a video that had that exact clip on it today and I laughed my head off. <laughs> so funny. From? from The Simpsons. Simpsons, I think. Oh, yeah. There's a robot that, I don't, it's at some sort of school fair or something and it gets I set say, on fire. It's in scratchy land, isn't it? It might it's be, but he gets set on fire and he just runs out of the fire on fire going, why was I programmed to feel pain? My grandfather <laughs> was part of the Manhattan Project. So this is Otacon telling you all his backstory, how his dad was part of the Manhattan Project and that throughout his life, he's tried to be, you know, make the world better and safer, but they keep end up making massive nuclear weapons. <laughs> it's like snake. I don't know. They just when he helps stab people of Ethiopia, what should we do? Let's build a nuclear weapon. Oh no! Just, they just fell over and drew a schematic of a nuke on the way down. <laughs> you must have the curse of nuclear um, weapons written into our DNA. <laughs> yeah, it's just it just. He's just going on, and probably, I think he's back with a bit of a cry at this point. Maybe yeah. he is. He's, he is crying. Isn't he? Yeah, he does cry a lot. Oh, One thing about Otacon that, that I I do quite like Otacon, but he he does my head in because he keeps saying in every game, "I've got no more tears to shed," and then he immediately starts crying straight away. He literally go like, "I can't cry anymore." It's like, what the fuck? That, yeah, he does that in My every life game. is so tragic, but why don't you just walk away from it then, eh? This is the one I was talking, I was thinking about. Yeah, it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation. Ah, good old FMV. Oh, you go. You, sorry, oh, it's it's dead far. The place you need to go. It's going to take your hours. Yeah, basically. Ah, I can't really tell what's that. going on. There's like loads. Just clouds of vibrating on the screen. Yeah. I, I think there's two. I'm not sure it should be. It should look like it does right now. I don't think it should. Because that doesn't look particularly mind blowing, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's not. This was an I... issue that we had with the emulator because it was showing the Konami logo over the top of stuff as well. I'd still rather that than the sound thing, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. But what's the problem with the sound? Because we're not using the sound, are we? Or is that going out on the stream? The sound's going the stream. out on the stream. It's very low. But, um, yeah, we can't hear a thing on. It's on our end. We could guess. last week, but this yeah, week, we could, unfortunately, well, we, we could. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Yeah. So we cannot hear Solid Snake's cool, gravelly voice. Oh, is the clouds again? Vibrating clouds. <laughs> I think that's definitely a mistake. That should yeah. not be there. <laughs> that last this is what happens when we emulate. Anyway, from the next game onwards, we will be playing on a console, which will hopefully be the true-to-form version of the HD ones. Yay. And you guys will be able to hear it as well. Oh, my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Just clouds. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> that shouldn't happen, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah. You can't see me. That I'll be fine because I look like some clouds. <laughs> yeah. I want Meryl to watch after you. Oh dear, I hope that sorts itself out. Oh no. <laughs> it, no it's, 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 it's going to be over the rest of this. Like, it's vibrating. Yeah, this, is, this has been one big um, FMV sequence, so. Oh no, damn, they She's so fit, Meryl, isn't she? So fit. She's a drawing. Yeah. Some drawings could be fit. What about Jessica Rabbit? Wasn't that some kind mm. of music? Can you be uh, fit? Take it or leave it. She... You what, sorry? Can you be fit if you've been drawn? You can be you can be hot. I don't know oh, come on, it's semantics. What the fuck? That, yeah, come on. Use of language, you're such a... I, I'm starting to really hate you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would <laughs> say... Really already. I would say for the purposes of finding um, a female pleasing to the eye, then yeah, fit and hot are pretty much synonyms in that instance. Come on. That's really oh, splitting hairs there. I think I just broke it. Oh, it's dead. Oh, no! It's been deaded. Oh, no. I've just got a... We should have the music like, ah, ah, da, 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 as it's... Oh no. <laughs> Seeing as we've hit quite a, quite a convenient break then. <clears throat> um, how much of what you remember about the Metal Gear series do you think is actually just nostalgia? Now you're actually seeing it back That's for the first question. time. That is a good or question. do you think it still stands in as high a prowess as it always has, has done? 100% I... I... Do think that this 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 actually is shocking me how good it is in comparison to what I remember. I, I said I've only played through this once. I think we're going to have to play from that boss fight again. You know. You are. You haven't saved it at all. No, we class rushed. that as a death. Well. <laughs> no, in fact, I'm going to erase all the deaths that happened in that playthrough bit. It's up to you what you want to do, but we we no, can't have a death until after the Hal Emmerich bit. Oh damn it! So I we've got to start from the. Where we from, from where I saved, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so everything we've done for the last hour is a waste. Whoops. What's the um, the shortcut key command to save? Fast save? I don't know, let's have a look. Because I think that you maybe should press that occasionally. Save F state, F1. F1. Yeah, so every so often press F1. Before each like set piece, boss fight or whatever, probably do it. In case it happens again. Uh, so, are you on the same opinion as Chris then, Sam? That... Um, I just watching it now. It, it, it is undeniable waves of nostalgia, but I genuinely think that for a game of its generation, it does it holds up um, a lot better than other PlayStation One games. That's certainly true. I'd agree um, with that. I, and I, I actually I remember the gameplay being again for the early days of analog controllers and stuff like that actually quite good um it's obviously got the isometric view but you mm. still you still get once you get used to the analog controller the aiming becomes all right actually once you get used to it um yeah i mean i've never had a problem with the gameplay in these games because i just love them so much so the game i never saw the gameplay has been bad it's challenging but it's supposed to be challenging yeah it seems to me it seems to me that the gameplay is actually second playing second win to the um Always has been that way, though. To the story, and yeah. to the neat little yeah. moments in it, it seems to be a game assembled from moments. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rather yeah, than a game it's, that's all about hence, the playing. Hence why we tried to keep it um, low key when we were doing moments uh, on last Wednesday. Yeah, I gave a big one away, but um, yeah. And that's fine. I mean, Final Fantasy VII's like that. Final Fantasy VII doesn't have a very strong game to it, but it's got a great story and a great immersiveness. So I can see why it is that you like this game, but. I guess if you're not immersed already in the the whole storyline, you ha unless you've you've kind of taken it on board, what you kind of left with is a bit of an awkward playing third person. Uh, no, I, yeah. I disagree. And, it's uh, awkward, but it still plays really well. I mean, this is this is a this is the worst of all the games in terms of the control system. Two is a little bit better. In fact, a lot better because you can do a lot more moves. There's a lot more mm. fidelity to your to your movement in general. Um, you can three. aim and shoot in first person in from Metal Gear Solid 2 onwards as well. To me as well, 3 is... Um, it's probably the most awkward in my eyes. For the pure reason that you have to change the Octo cam Camo every 5 fucking seconds. And it really, really is inconvenient. But 4 is perfect in my eyes. It's perfect for... Oh, shit. Ooh. 
Expanded um, on uh, to lose points when he said that, um, obviously, uh, the gameplay is second to the storyline and that's what then captures people and you know makes them want to play it. The problem with that is, is that you've, you've got to use the game, um, like, you've got to play the game in order to get to know the story and the characters. Well, and if you can't get away with playing this type of game from the off, then you, you're never going to get to that point. Which is what makes it the Marmite game, isn't it? If, if, you, if, if you can't penetrate the gameplay, then you're never going to see that great story and those great moments. Mm. That's exactly what I said earlier. It's the gameplay that puts people off this game. Yeah. yeah. And I, Which I, I thought was ridiculous when you said it, but it actually makes a lot more sense when you think about it. Um, it's, it's not that... I, I don't dislike the gameplay. I think, it's, I think it's okay. I think, obviously, the control system could be better, but... I don't know. I think I think it still still holds up pretty well. And if you look at other games that were invented for the D-pad, not invented, that were uh, programmed for the D-pad, then I don't know. I don't think it's too bad at all. Yeah, I mean, again, just if you play PlayStation One games of this era, just the way they could again, you could sort of say the same thing about Final Fantasy Seven. Like the actual in-game controls for that game, where you're walking around, are pretty bad. Like, yeah, they're definitely you definitely have less control over what you're doing than you do in this game, that's for certain. Yeah. So that it's for its time, it actually controls quite tightly, even though it's obviously Chris is playing with a D-pad and it's a lot, lot better with the analog stick. Um as well obviously as any game would be better when you're running around like this. There, I mean it's, I don't deny there's a lot a lot a lot of nostalgia. That's why I rank it so hard is because of my personal attachment to it, not because of its objective quality, even though I think its objective quality is still actually quite high. It's um, quite an early game for the analogue as well, wasn't it? Because analogue in 98 yeah, was the, quite mm, new. The original release wasn't analogue. I think it was. I don't I've, think it was. was the, do you, which, which, was, which was the pad, which was the first analogue pad, where it had the dimples in the top of the That sticks. was the dual, the dual analogue. Dual analog. There was a dual analog, and there was. There was one before that. There was one before that which had two joysticks on it, which was a big old thing. Oh, I don't know. That was that was that was the original. That was analog. the arcade pad, wasn't it? No. Um. What console was that with? Was that I was the PlayStation. Party? That was that. That was a that was a, a Sony official. There we go. Um. Oh, I can't send you a link to this, but basically, if you, if you search for PlayStation and PlayStation analog joystick. Paste it in the chat, Luke. Um, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Don't don't paste it in the chat. Paste oh, it in another chat too. I'm then. Yeah, I'm pasting it. So, there's what I'm talking about. That was the original official Sony um, analog stick, which is bonkers. <laughs> so that, that yeah. pre predates the, um, the the first dual stick, and then the dual shock was the one with the the rumble pack in it and the. Uh, the yeah, con convex, the, the convex um, stick heads. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember seeing you, that. I don't know if you can get anything in this room yet, Chris. Could be wrong. I can, I can go right up to the other end and get what's in there, though. Maybe get the fair. gas mask first and then go and do this. Oh, shit. Good call. Forgot uh, about that. I believe it was the the room with the camera in it on, uh, down this corridor, so I think. Not this one, sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Um, yeah, you're right. It's back. You were run, you were running out of breath anyway. You, yeah, you, yeah. Might, you can come you come back through this area. Just do it later. In fact, yeah, let's get past the boss fight and then come back through and do pick it up then. Now we obviously now that you completed the boss before, we're expecting you to do a leap, no damage run of it now. Obviously, so <laughs> perfect. Get so get it sorted. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> Mini speed run. All right, if I do a no damage run, I reckon Sam or Steve have to donate 10 quid. If you do what, sorry? If I do a what? no damage run. Of this boss? Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you, yeah, okay. If you beat this boss without taking a hit, I'll, I'll do that at <laughs> I'm in for that. I'm not going to keep doing that for every boss because you might end up no, getting no, really no, good no, at the I'm... game and I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually working for child's play. And... Uh, I'm snooker. Not what's it called? Not snookering. What's the other one? Um, hustling. Hustling. Yeah. <laughs> snookering. <laughs> I did mean hustling. Yeah, just funny. <laughs> Sorry, but I've, I've had to spam that one on social media. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get people in for that. <clears throat> no pressure, Chris. Quick, because he's about to fight him. Quick, 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 quick. 
I'm skipping all of the scenes though, so... Yeah, yep. skip them all. <laughs> skip feel it. Dude, skip the ones afterwards as well, because we were pretty much at the end of those cutscenes, I think, anyway. Right, kick your papers again. Don't need that. I do need this ration over it. Actually, I shouldn't, should I? You shouldn't. Well, you can hold no three, damage. so you might as well pick it up. But if you do, if you try to do no damage, then you won't need it, will you? That's what, I, that's what that was my point. Yeah. Sorry, is this where but... Chris is suddenly going to become lead? No. Like he's been playing like a spaz for the last. <laughs> like oh, I Steve sweet. was just so certain. Like, no, come on, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> I know he's like a good actor. <laughs> Well, good, you've Nate. taken off about 120 of his health so far, so going well. Good. Good. Me more. The thing is, though, that I mean, I know Snake's got gloves on, but he's still punching a robot. Like <laughs> it, after about six punches, he'd be like, "Right, my hands are broken." So I don't care how honourable you are, you're still right. wearing metal armor, mate. Come on. What, like, does, what does he do here? I've forgotten already. He's got that three attack pattern where it's like a flip, flip, and then a big jump, I think. I think if I do this, it's easier for me to get to him. What, get him to go around the I tables? I can't tell if I'm watching Metal Gear Solid <gasps> Benny Hill. <laughs> you should have yeah, music. Yakety snack. Surely there should be some women in bikinis running around. Whoop. Instead of papers flying off the desk, there's bras fly over the desks. <laughs> doing well, Chris. I am doing well. You are, actually. He's using the force. <laughs> ah! Fuck! <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> okay, no yeah. ration run. <laughs> <laughs> Best of three. <laughs> Best. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, you saved ten quid. I guess I did. You stingy bastards. I'm going to spend that on hookers and drugs. Yep. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You just sit on your face. Uh, I, I doubt it. It's probably just a weird angle thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh. And he's kicking in the computers as well, the supercomputers. He just chinned him. Well, he's not chinned him, he kicked him. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, Chris is doing the music for us oh, so we can get into the mood. <laughs> it's pro the problem is it's about half a second delayed on Twitch, so it just sounds really weird whenever anyone hears. Yeah, you'll it be is. doing it out of time, won't you? So a bit, a bit, yeah. Why do ninjas. ninjas always choose to do acrobatics instead of just punching you to death? Because the ninjas. That's what ninjas do. Like real yeah. ninjas. <laughs> yeah, ninjas wear metal armor and jump around, shouting at you. Hey, you hurt yeah, me. And your face, Grey Fox. I've been Cyclops robots at the same time. Yeah. I believe. Now, this is something that comes through when you see, like, you know, HD uh, redesigns of this character, but that, that light that's in the middle of his face, the. The, 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 the cyborg outfit, you can see to the side of that, there are two little eye slits yeah, as well. Yeah. So that's his glowing so nose, is he Rudolph? Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Ninja had a very shiny nose. But you couldn't see it because he was wearing stealth cavern. So does it explain what the thing is on his face, or is it just a thing on his face? Ah, it's just it's just a mask. It's just his, his right. ninja mask. <laughs> his robot. Because no, nothing says stealth like a fucking light on your face. <laughs> yeah, this is is, is he's um, not meant to be stealth. We are. No, he's no, he's, he's a stealth. ninja. He's got he's got stealth camo, so he's invisible, mate. He's supposed to be a bit stealth. There's nothing in the tenants of the ninjas that says he has to be stealthy. Mm. Go on, correct me, Lou, because there is. I don't, I don't have a ninja hand book being... at hand. Well, that's the whole point of being a ninja is you're meant to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, ninjas are assassins. Silent death. Apparently ninjas are... You should hear his voice when he says that. It's brilliant. Apparently yeah. ninjas are descended from... Um, possibly... You Dinosaurs. Know the... No, you... <laughs> <laughs> you know the guys in um, Japanese theatre who dress in black and control the, the, like, the, the puppets and stuff? 
I think Kabuki like and Tina. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. Oh. Basically, they that... the big masks and stuff. Um, they, basically, there's, there'll be people on the stage and there'll be people dressed in black who you're basically meant not to look at. Yes, yes. It's them. That's where they reckon the whole idea of ninjas came from. That's because there's nothing to suggest in history that, um, that they're dressed in black or anything like that. The whole kind of modern image we've got of ninjas seems to have come from the Japanese theatre. Interesting. Although you would imagine... What about ninjutsu? Um, well, that's not a real it's thing, is it? practiced for years. It's not yeah, really. It is. Is it, is it a real thing? Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Martial art. It's not a modern invention. It's been invention. for hundreds of years. No, it's been for oh, thousands of years, not hundreds. I'm oh. not so sure. Uh, look it up, honestly. It, has, it, it, there, it, it is shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Just like me. Shrouded in mystery. Well, I, as it should be, really. Your mum's shrouded in mystery. Hmm. The oldest recorded form of ninjutsu dates back to the 1500s. Yeah. Oh, 1500s. Bollocks. It's all about um, martial arts, strategy, tactics, unconventional warfare, and guerrilla warfare as part, yeah. as well as part of the art of espionage. Yeah. Yeah, they were, it's they were a pretty shady, um, shady martial art actually. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not it's not designed to be honourable, which is why I believe that the uh, the samurai ruling class at the time. It was considered yeah, yeah. very shameful to utilize ninjas if you hired one. It was something you never admitted because, obviously, you know, a real honorable Bushido Japanese guy should face oh, his no. enemies up front with honor. You've done very well here, Chris. You did, actually. See, blue orb of energy. That's what I meant. He's got a blue orb of energy around him. Is that part because of Ninjutsu? That's just that's a very important ninja well, move there. Neither is the cyborg part. That's not part of Ninjutsu either. <laughs> yeah. <right? clears throat> I can't stop seeing the nose now. He just looks like he's got a silly glowing nose like a clown. Right, that just took me 10 minutes it's... to get to there, whereas it took me an hour before now. Yes, it's in between his eyes, so it's kind of like his third eye, I guess you could say. His, his... Oh, his unibrow. Yeah. <laughs> Naomi, shut up. <laughs> she does get on. The dark um, gonna F go on. F one at this stage, maybe Chris. How long are you gonna stay in there? Just in case. Uh, are you one of them? Uh. Skip. Oh no. Oh, you just. Do we have to watch this whole cutscene again. No, no. no I'm, just I'm, skip. I'm, I'm skipping everything I can. <clears throat> Was that pause because we pressed F1? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore... Oh. This is where we were up to, I think. I think it was, this is what it was supposed to look like earlier, yeah. <laughs> it obviously got about three <laughs> images overlaid on each other for some reason. So, they developed a <sighs> so we're back to where we were. Sorry about that, viewers. Or viewer. <laughs> I always get, whenever I see those images of uh, explosions like that, I hope, it does give me a really weird, ominous feeling. Even though you get used to seeing them, there's something really disturbing about that much destruction. There's a, there's a video that I've, uh, I love on YouTube which shows what would happen in the event of a nuclear attack in America and and kind of shows you the emergency broadcast system and stuff like that. Very, yeah. very cool. I love that stuff. It's, it's not as modern. <laughs> not really. It makes it, it's, I've got a thing about post-apocalyptic. Mm. I'm such a so is everybody, it's all over everything. It's all, it's uh, totally my like break. a thing. Back. Bikini uh, black stuff in it. God. Bikini, bikini black special or something is the... My is the that cocktail? No, the level, it's the, it's the American, le or it's the NATO possibly level of alert when for a nuclear explosion. I don't know. Or bikini black. I don't think they have anything for a nuclear explosion. He was born on August 6th, 1945. Mm. I think we've seen this as well, what about the Manhattan Project? That was me looking at you, by the way. I know it was, not that was me not giving a shit. At least say it right, Chris, come on. No, I'm going to continue to say it how I've said it for 32 years. <laughs> you were saying nuclear. <laughs> Is that your first word? Yeah. yeah. Nuclear! <laughs> you said it right. said it wrong. <laughs> it's nuclear. Great success! Well, look at the back of his ear there. Ooh. More wobbling. That is a sexy back of the ear. Pull yourself together. It was. It wasn't there. That was why I said, "Look at it." Where on this base are the keys? Could his ears like that? 
Yeah. He's like Lee Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he should play him in a live action film. <laughs> That'd be a very different. Where is that? I'm not sure they should ever do. The, oh, you know why they've got Kiefer Sutherland? That's another reason. They'll do a movie, won't they? The Metal Gear, and they'll have him. They'll have him nah, in there. They won't do that. I don't think they will. Better say yes to it. Kiefer Sutherland lying down in various places. Got the uh, the good old clouds back again. Yeah, the vibrating yeah. clouds. Actually, isn't this the same thing as before? Yeah, yeah I think we could just skip. I skip thought up. we saw. I didn't. Know no, I mean, for some reason, you seem to have stopped skipping. I think we could skip all this stuff. We just get back to the gameplay, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, because she goes, <gasps> What? Oh, no! She's been discovered. Oh, the state of everything, you battered the whole room. Yep. I didn't. The ninja did it, come on. He was. Well, okay, I mean, sure. must have done it after we finished, because I didn't touch anything. Well, remember when he was jumping around with the with the sort of blue sphere of energy? And when he does oh, that yeah. near a computer, he just destroys them all. So I think the, the whole room ends up getting trashed, regardless of what you do, pretty much. Oh, there we go. Full life again. Right, so I'm going to see if there is... Oh, you haven't got full life. Table. I'm pretty sure on Extreme as well, that life bar never goes up. <laughs> and I think in Extreme, I think the ninja's pretty much invisible for most of that fight as well, so you kind of have to leave the thermal goggles on. From what I remember, like it, it's this game is really hard in Extreme mode, especially oh, the bosses. Blatantly talking out of my ass. There's nothing else in here, I don't think, right? Could have swore there was a ration under the desk. Maybe it's somewhere entirely different. Oh, hello. It could be. There's a lot. There's a few desks. It's probably in the um, basement level one. <clears throat> right, so I can go back and get the uh, Nikita now, can't I? Uh, uh, not the Nikita, the you, other. The gas mask around there. Yeah. Have a look around. You've got level four cards. So <clears> you <throat> get more rooms now as well. In that gas bit. You can use the Nikita missile launcher, I think, to take out the cameras. If... Oh no, you can't. You can uh, use no, a... I can use a chaff grenade. You can, yes. A chaff grenade. grenade. <laughs> the cameras are like <laughs> <laughs> doing birds. Defeated yeah. by <laughs> defeated by Vaseline. <laughs> it's just the posh way of saying chaff. Uh, it's chaff. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, it's really annoying. Is you have to then. Put the equip the card, open the door, then put the gas mask back on. <laughs> that is, <coughs> yeah, right. it's annoying. Bit of chafing going on. Chaff it up. Need some motion lotion. Proper <laughs> chaffed. Boom! Go and get the stuff. Those um, those MP grenades are very handy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very handy. In, in Metal Gear Solid 4, there's like three of them in the entire game. They're like gold dust, you have to use them really sparingly. But uh, in these games, especially this one, they're quite readily available. Now, I believe if I go under these desks, is there another ration? I think there are rations everywhere, blatantly, don't I? Yeah. So you, you, yeah. Does your life bar get longer throughout the game? It is, yeah. It does, Right, yeah. so you get extra bits on it. Yeah. Right. But in extreme mode, I don't think you do. I think you just keep the same little small one for the whole game. That's a wall. It's a nice wall. <laughs> Should we just appreciate the walls for a minute? A, a, a bit of silence while we look at the Probably you want to be getting out of here, because you're going to run out of air, even with the gas mask on. C4 and grenades. So what's he trying to do at the moment? What's what's, what's going on stuff, here? Isn't he? the, the, well, he's just picking up stuff in these rooms, but he he want to be going back to the lift and going. She. That room we were in earlier, where he got the Nikita missile launcher with the uh, sort of computers in the middle. Um, that's where you have to go and find Meryl. She's in a guard's uniform, and you've got to identify. Her. This is where the. Uh, the bit from earlier when Snake was staring at her ass comes in handy because if you watch the guards, one of them walks like quite feminine, and that's right. Meryl. I've been in that one. Been in that one, haven't I? This You're loving it here, don't you? I'm going to get shit. The shit around, and it needs picking up. Stun grenades are super useful, especially for a certain part of the game. Uh, I think I've been in that bottom one, haven't I? So that'll do me. Oh yeah, I think there's like. 
As you get to level six, I think you come back here, or you can come back here and pick up more stuff. Level six card, I mean. Right. Let's go find Meryl. Oh, this is the uh, Phantom. You are getting to Psycho Mantis. Psycho yeah. Mantis. So now, this is, I, this is, you, you, you guys have picked this up quite a lot, so I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be entertaining. It won't be because you already know what happens. I yeah, forgot. there's no twist to it. There's no twist to it, and plus, I'm going to be struggling with getting the emulator to do what I need it to do, probably. Yeah, it's probably, oh, yeah. <laughs> probably going to go badly wrong, isn't it? Well, someone called Scree has just joined the chat channel. Scree. <clears throat> That's good. Hello, one of our Scree. Mates, isn't it? That must be Ozzy, I think, or Dave. So she's one of the. She's not in there. Yet. She's it's in that main room. She's one of the guards that's in there. I'm sure. Um, you can watch her sort of walking around in a girly way, I guess. And then just walk up to her. She'll go. And then she'll run off to the toilet, and you can follow her in there and have a chat, like you do. <laughs> like you have do. A chat. I've just noticed like you you're normally having do. a poo. Which one is she? Watch that guy, is that him? She looks like that looks her looks like her. I don't know. There's three in here now, so. Three in there now. Yeah. I bet it's that one there that's just went down. I think she is the one that's in the sort of the Lower level bit. Right, that it's guy was that. walking like a block. Well, that guy was going to the gents' toilet, which is on the left as well. So someone else coming through here now. I think I think it's this one that's coming up to me. I don't think it is. Look at her. Oh look yeah, at it her is. Hips. That's that is. That is. Okay. <laughs> it's the same one. Just go out and let her let her see you then. Look at away. that. It won't set off alert mode. Is that She's sexist? Chinna. Right, quickly follow her. Follow her. Follow her. Oh, I'll lock myself in a room. If you get in there quick enough, you can see her in her unders. <laughs> if you wait too long, she's got she's got changed completely. She's in the last one, isn't she? Don't move. <gasps> Shit. Don't move. Didn't see her undies. <clears throat> no, you were a second. I mean, she's in her undies if you've been quick. The second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Oh, uh, yeah. Nope. That that is a bit of a bone of contention, isn't it? That. No that she's a rookie and she's been like long. nailed him twice. Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no it's because she ran straight in to see her in her undies and she knew you'd do that. <laughs> she's quite hench as well, isn't she? She's got quite she muscly is. arms. Yeah. She must be a swimmer. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I is she got oh yeah, I asked before, she's got a grey fox on her arm, isn't she, or something? Yeah, it's like a foxhound tattoo, that's the unit that Snake was a part of and the I thought it was Tom and Jerry. <laughs> So Look at her nips. Yeah, she's off. probably like smuggling like poly poly polygon it? nips. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It does look like a cartoon, oh, this, doesn't it? It's, it's just Tom and Jerry. <laughs> What's on your arm, all this? Yeah, just, just ignore it. You guys were real Got a skull on the other one. No now this is um, this is one of the bits where you get a bit of characterization for both of them, and you sort of see like Snake. This is again one of the things I like about Snake is that she sort of says, "Oh, you're amazing, this amazing soldier." He's like, "I'm not a heroic man. I'm just good at killing people." Like that doesn't make me good or a heroic. That's just what I am. Like he's really not. He's not egotistical in the slightest. Um, which is just I like that about him a lot. He's not got a oh I'm the hero I'm a legend. He's just like no. Nah, I'm just here to do some wet work and no one else can do it. Um, so yeah, Solid it's Snake, man. It's awesome. Do you, think, do you think he believes that, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's... he's, he's, he's of all the characters that are very duplicitous in these games, Solid Snake really, really isn't. He's very straight up with, with who he is and what he's about, pretty much. There's a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 2 where he's been a bit, a bit deceptive, but generally he's a very straight up and honest guy. Fair enough. Yeah. That's a, that's a blatant lie. I think you would think about what's next constantly. Am I going to die being one of the How things? He's <laughs> in the moment, in the, in the heat of battle. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. I'm going to say that those polygons aren't holding up in these cutscenes. 
we over no no <laughs> still still think about the day it still looks mint for when it was and it would remember as well this was <clears throat> this was them doing you know actual dialogue and stuff and it's all the in-game engine i was just going to yeah. say that it's in-game no, engine stuff yeah there's yeah. no um, cg uh, extra sequences in this game in any of these games it's all done in engine yeah and that, that, that it, is it's commendable and it's yeah. not more cap either it wasn't now. It wasn't then. It will be now. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I think they did mocap for Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah. You can tell because everyone runs really weirdly. Everyone has like a bit of a roadie run to them. It's like the person doing the mocap was three feet tall. <laughs> Seriously, if you watch it, it'll see. Everyone runs really strangely. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. Oh, it's because you see clouds. <laughs> I always dreamed of so Meryl, soldier. yeah, she hates all those girly girls. She wanted to be a soldier, god damn it. It wasn't really my dream. My yeah, but then, like, she has this whole issue of, of once she's actually no seen one. blood of people getting killed, she sort of feels like, I don't know. She sort of, like, she talks about it, being, thinking of snaking those guys as heroes, and he says we're not, and then when she gets involved in it, she starts to understand that it isn't, it's just death and killing, and it's not. Cool. Well, epileptic fit. Which is quite a cool sentiment to have in a game, isn't it? I mean, it is. It's not often games do that. Most of them relish it. It's like here, have a rocket launch and blow everyone up because there's nothing. There's no consequence to this. Yeah, and I like that too. But that, again, this is one of those. This is one of the reasons why this game hits a chord with so many people is because it has this kind of stuff in it. And even if it's it's done in an often quite heavy-handed way, it's not exactly subtle about how it gets its point across. At least it has one, and a fairly good one most of the time. Um, it's out of ammo. Again, this was a sort of time for me when Found games were starting to be more than just daft little entertainment. This is quite an involved story that you get into, um, and you want to see what happens, and you want like... You want to see the resolution, not just get to the end of the game for the get to the end of the game's sake. Yeah. Since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than it I is gun just float in the air then for a second. Yeah, and she's also more comfortable with a gun than a bra. And then she just Which is obvious out of a bra. By, yeah. <clears throat> Which is kind of obvious by the fact that she's got nipples that are knocking things over in the room. Yep. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. Well, now, now you I've, give it to me. I believe yeah, she should have given that straight away, shouldn't she, really? Um I believe that the music starts playing the creepy music in this. Obviously, the people that are watching the stream will know because it will be on, but um, okay, it's just a creepy, psycho mantis, uh, hypnotizing music that starts playing um, from now, basically, <laughs> up until when you fight him. Now then, Chris, if you run outside. Um, uh, what have you, you done? Finished no, sorry, doing I was, that. I was just <laughs> checking to see if it was actually saving my saves. <clears throat> now, if you walk outside this room and press the press the look button i think it will now do something That's interesting strange. there's no guard what happened to the music i'll keep a lookout make sure you're ready okay oh no it doesn't there's a bit when you press look that it looks from meryl's point of view at you all right when you, when you press first person look you look at it from meryl's point of view that's strange yeah, it's like a, well, it's like a it starts like messing with you basically. I'm sure that's coming up like very soon. Well, given the time, <clears> it might be a good place to um to end this portion of the run as well. Before the fight. Oh, after the fight. I'm gonna say because ah, this, is, gonna this say. is the fight here. Let's say we should probably try and do the fight. So, how many bosses is this in, and how many are left? This is third in. Third boss in. Because you talked about Psycho Mantis, I, I assumed he was someone quite late on in the game. Um, no, he's not. not. No. Um, there is, you you have to fight you okay? Sniper Wolf. Raven again? Yeah, you fight Raven, um, Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf twice. Yeah, Sniper Wolf twice, yeah, shit. Um, Liquid in the hind. Um, and, then, and then in the Metal Gear. Yeah, and also... Also on the rooftop? Yeah, there's a on fist fight. There's one more. I'm sure there's one more. Come on, Mr. I'm sure. That, yeah, I'm sure there's oh, three that. main three main bosses apart from. So the Psycho Mantis. Oh yeah, Sniper Wolf and um, Raven. That's Raven. It, I think. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, and then Metal Gear and Liquid. In a couple of his goes. I think now you can press the look, and it'll be Meryl's point of view. <coughs> there you See? go. 
Uh, yeah. That's creepy when I first did that. Weird, man. <laughs> Why is everything yeah. green? Because uh, Psycho Madness. That's it. Uh, Psycho Look, notice that everything's wobbling slightly as well. Yeah. And I think Meryl, I think, again, for the guys watching the stream will hear this, but I think Meryl's voice is mixed with Psycho Madness's. So when she talks now, she sounds like she's talking through a gas mask. Again, creepy. Like, the first time you play it, you really have no idea what is actually going on. Oh, God, I can't look. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a case where you have to literally just run around this room until Meryl starts acting weird again. There you yeah. go. <laughs> She's going to start trying to get you to <laughs> bang her in a second. <laughs> I like how all the cutscenes are punctuated by a flashing yellow line and some clouds. Yeah, that's really not cool, is it? That? <laughs> I'm considering uh, what's wrong? saving. You can't really tell what's even going on in the cutscenes. Hurry! Make love to me! Snake, Snake I, want. I want you! There he is, Psychomantis pulling the strings. Sorry, Pat, rather on Psychomantis. Now, if you punch her, her health will go down. You can just grab her and choke her, but obviously if you press choke too many times, you'll kill her. Well, he's not very stealthy, is he? He's supposed to be invisible there, guys. <laughs> he's got clouds all over his <laughs> shit again. So this, whenever, whenever, somebody's, whenever somebody's using stealth, it's obviously going crackers. So do you have to beat the shit out of Meryl until you can get yeah. past her? <laughs> Of that bitch. Just throwing her. There you go. Knock her out. <laughs> yeah, the throws oh. if, if you throw people or punch them enough, they'll get knocked out. I'll tell you what, screw emulators. Yeah, right this, enough of them. That, I mean, I even though it's an old game, that's definitely ruining the effect, isn't it? I think it looks quite cool, actually. He's supposed not to meant be, to look like that. Though. He's supposed to have that stealth camo effect on him where he's, you know, sort of see through, but he's, his model's there. There he is. Oh, you should hear his voice, guys. Oh. Yeah. He's skinny. He is. He's very emaciated. He's a creepy guy. Especially when you see his face after the fight as well. Is yeah. levitation just par for the course for anyone with like, psychic powers in Japanese fiction? It, yeah, it's, well, you know, psychokinesis, is it? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you control things with your mind. Yeah, or telekinesis. Or telekinesis. Telekinesis is being able to move anything at a distance. Psychokinesis is specifically moving things in your mind. Yeah. See? So there you go. Um, so yeah, he could do all that. He's like a, a general psychic dude who can got all those kind of powers. Also, you're yeah, a skilled warrior. You can tell him Yeah. So apparently you have to have died more than you have, Chris, to be called not a great warrior. So, so that's, that again. Well, he said that you're um, you're a very skilled fighter and stuff. So you've obviously yeah. not died that much compared to what the game thinks you've died. Because he might have said you're a crap warrior and you keep <laughs> dying loads. But he has restarted it. No, it saved himself three deaths. Still the same. Oh yeah. Oh come on. This this yeah. I see why you think this is quite cool now. Yeah. The like I say, you've got like. There's I'm reading your Konami memory games. card. Well, there's a couple of Konami games that if it finds memory saves from, like, if you've got Symphony of the Night on there, he'll say, you like Castlevania. Which is also... Now cool. it's going to vibrate, hopefully. Yes. Just this a couple of times in the game where it actually breaks the fourth wall with the controller, says, I'm now going to make your controller move. <laughs> and then it starts, to, it starts to go... Brrr. Oh. Cross my palm with silver! Rumble is not enabled. <laughs> oh, lame. <laughs> what do you think now? Yeah, shit. Do you feel my power now? <laughs> nah. I, no. Oh, it I'm gonna have an epi. So, it should do the thing quite quickly. Here's the, yep. uh, Here the it black is. screen. Oh. No, you're just frozen. Please tell me you saved it recently. Oh, I did. <laughs> I think that was probably it, actually. Ooh. Do you know what it probably was? <laughs> Try balls of cloud at people. So if I try and punch him now, guys, you'll see. He should. It basically doesn't take any health off him if I do actually connect. Yeah, but you didn't. Oh shit! <laughs> right. Anyway. Um, right. So I need to. I think. Try it's... and swap the controllers over. 
Yes. Gamepad. This should be interesting. Port one. Oh, I can't. <laughs> They're all, everything's blanked out. Do you have um, to pause the game? Is 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 it paused? It is paused. Yeah. Oh, do you have to pause it, the emulator? What oh, you can do uh, is save the state, close the emulator, open it up, set. Yeah, I did just do that, so I can now exit. Sorry, guys. That's no, 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 it's part of the game. <laughs> This is this is if anybody has not seen this and it's um, and it's unfortunately going to spoil the game this part of the game for you. But you have to unplug the controller from port one and put it into port two. By now, what fifth, six, eighteen years on, nineteen years on, nineteen years? No, it's not been nineteen years. What was ninety? Oh, it was two thousand one, wasn't it? Or something? No, ninety eight. This, this game's like nineteen ninety eight. Okay, it's like so, sixteen years. So sixteen not, years, not far off, but sixteen years old. This um, that was right, half so, of our lives ago. Jesus, that's a, yeah, that's a bit. Uh. Right now, <laughs> how the hell do I disable control? Ah, there we go, disabled. Uh, gamepad port two, pad one. Need to bind all the controls. Dual <laughs> uh, analog, dual shock. I, I bound these before as well. Oh, and I'm, uh, getting the, I'm getting the junk thing. You gotta, if you, <laughs> you gotta put it flat on the desk. Remember, I think it is flat. It wasn't that, mate. I have to go back into. Uh, uh. Here it is. To go back into this, and options, uh, custom control mapping. Well, while while you do that, can we, should we talk about the game a bit more? Should we talk yeah. about? Because no one can see that. You just. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair news. So. Um, what kind of an effect do you think this game had on on later games in the same genre, but not other Metal Gear Solid? Do you think it had a lasting effect? Well, on, it, on gaming in general, it, uh, it it in terms of stealth stealth games became a successful genre largely due to this game. Because I know Thief was was Thief before this, the first Thief. Uh, uh, I think it was around. Know. Yeah, I think it was slightly earlier. Um, but it had. It was not. Uh, it was not the same kind of big mainstream hit that this was. And this loads of games like Siphon Filter, Splinter Cell. Um, just there was a lot of games, and just that idea of the stealth thing really seemed to hit the mainstream from this game in particular. It hadn't really been around before that I was aware of, and then it suddenly seemed to be ubiquitous. Mm. So it definitely That's had that effect. Yeah, actually, Thief came out the same year. Thief the Dark Project, the original. Wow, well, amazingly. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I'm thinking stuff like I, 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 I'm sure that Splinter Cell took a lot from this game. Mm. Um, it's. I'm just wondering, given. I, I'm wondering whether games really kind of uh, tried to to impersonate it. Did Did anything come out? After this, it was like, oh, right, that's a Metal Gear Solid clone. Um, I heard you mention enough. Siphon Filter. I've heard that name, but I don't know anything about it's, it. It's it's not really a Metal Gear Solid clone, but it has a lot of that in it. It's that whole, you know, secret agent. It's a third-person game, but it's more like a a traditional third-person game as in the camera's behind and you've got free aim. Right. Um, so you can take headshots and stuff like that. But it's it's got, in terms of that functionality of its controls, it's got a lot more going on, I think, but it looks incredibly ugly compared to Metal Gear Solid. Right. Um, so it has that against it, like it's it was, it, not as bad as, but you know, sometimes when the environments aren't very helpful for you to go navigating your way around. Right. Um, so that was quite a cool game. I mean, I don't think anyone could copy Metal Gear because Metal Gear is so, it's so unique as well, just in terms of its personality. Yeah, uh, I guess, the, I guess the, it's... The design aesthetic, the, the, the sort of writing, all that stuff. I guess it's hard to copy a game which is all about these kind of clever moments. There's like there's mm. nothing to copy. You can you you can copy the gameplay, but that doesn't make it a Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, and I don't because, really remember that many games that have copied the, the gameplay actually. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, watching it and having played it a little bit, I I still think that it is all about these cool moments like this bit with Psycho Man. So I can imagine if I came across that in my kind of heyday of playing on the original PlayStation, I'd have been blown away by that. It's like, it's reading my memory card. It's play, like, he's doing all this cool stuff. Yeah, it, um, de it definitely was like that. And it's like those kind of geeky, cool moments 
they do break the fourth wall, but do it in a way that I guess it it, it just had the balls to do it. Sorry about well, that. It, it, well, there's another there's another deeper th theme running through the Metal Gear Solid games as well. Um, people have analysed them quite a lot because the, it, it's a game that treats the player like that. It knows that there's a player playing this game, and it's it's sort of consistent all the way through. When when the Colonel talks to you, he'll just say, "Press the circle button on your controller." Like he's yeah. talking to Solid Snake in character, but he's also talking to you. So there's there's a sort of knowing wink and a nod that it, it's all not real and that it is all a simulation, but then it's, it starts to get a bit weird and meta because they talk about VR training um, and this becomes more apparent in, in Metal Gear Solid 2 about what's real and what's not. <laughs> he's getting hit by, a, by chair. a wing back chair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you need, so you know how you were crawling before? Start crawling. <laughs> you can Chris, crawl under those things. if you die to a chair, then I'm, I'm leaving. I'm actually never going to do I'm going to have to change the again. controls over a few times. I just remembered within this fight. You don't just do it no, once. No, you, you, only, you, only, you only have to do it once. You sure? Once it's gone to controller 2, you can leave it there, yeah. It does the Hideo thing a couple of times, but it's it's only one time it's required, I'm pretty sure of that. Look, you, you'll be able to tell because when you start shooting him and he dodges it, you'll know that it's not working anymore, but for now it is, so just, I said just stick with it. Um, oh, bollocks. Now, did you say you can actually kill this guy without doing the control trick? Oh, there's Hideo again, doing his thing. They must change some kind of video mode when that happens. It must do, because it's not, um, from what I'm seeing, it's not doing anything, the game's just freezing. Yeah, there's certain overlays that aren't working in this emulator, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, shit, I've run out of bullets. Yeah, um, so comic. There might be a way to beat him without the... Um, what you would call it, the controller change thingy, but I've never done it without it, and I've... Do you do any damage at all? I you do a think... bit, I'm pretty sure you do, because I remember doing it. No, I didn't actually kill him, um, but I do do remember. Uh, so if you, if you duck without... Yeah, you go. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you're quick, you can get into the middle of that circle, get up and shoot him and crash down again, but, you know... Oh, oh obviously, obviously being, like, a super... Telepath, psychokinetic, sort of ninja doesn't help you with being able to attack things on different Z planes. Well, yeah, well, you know, the, the, the boss has got to be beatable, hasn't he? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, it's going to start controlling. Yeah. yeah, I think you'll try to read your mind again doing the Hideo thing, but it doesn't work because you're in control of two. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> just threw a load of clouds at you. That's really <laughs> weird. That's it's so distracting when he does that. It's really odd. What's that Especially supposed to be? It's just supposed to be like an like an invisible, you know, like orb thingy. It's like a it's like a see through thing, but you can see it's there. Do you know what I mean? Like translucent. Yeah, like the like the um, like his head is at the moment. Yeah. Have you watched the first episode, Steve? No. 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 When you see that, when we played it before, you can see the ninja, and it's like you can see there's like a, a, a 3D model there, but it's transparent, so it sort of warps the image behind it. Right. That's what it looks like. The predator effect. Yeah. The, yes, exactly. It's, a, it's the exact thing. The predator effect. <laughs> oh, right, you're back, flying. Back to fighting mantis candy? there. You've nearly deaded it. E Sacramentis, you're rubbish. Psycho rubbish, you mean? <laughs> oh, this. Uh. Chris has a burn book for all the Metal Gear Solid books. Oh, shit. Collapse, <laughs> 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 <That's funny. laughs> Oh, my word. <laughs> Spinning snake! <laughs> <laughs> that works out well for you. You got a bit sick then. Dun 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 <laughs> Nearly done him. Nearly. Nearly dead it. One more shot might do it, eh? I'm gonna continue smacking you with fucking furniture and pottery. Yeah. Add, like, the uh, deer. Stuffed deer's heads and stuff. Run out of bullets. Oh, no. no. no I think you can punch him if you just run up to him. You know? Oh, yeah, I did earlier, actually. Let's do that. 
Yeah, last the last one could be a punch to the face. <laughs> the final hit. Boom! Okay. Or I could oh. pretend to punch him and not actually hit him. All right, so it yeah. doesn't. No, no, it was my fault then. I, I pressed the the grab button by accident. All right, I thought it just wasn't working then. Because punch, punch is circle. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Punch is circle. Oh, and, you, just, um, you walked into that, Chris. Square is fire. So, yeah. And then square all punch. Oh my god, it, it, the controls. I don't like them. Oh, d did it again? Press the one more hit. Again. One more hit. Yeah. Quidouche. Oh, but, nice. That was quite a good hit. I don't think it does that normally, does it? it? No, it does that every time you kill it. Oh, no, right, matter where, it. No matter where he is in the room, he walks to that <laughs> place and dies. Okay. And flies over the desk oh my dramatically. God. Yeah, he does that every time. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Should yes. Meryl's brainwashing wear off? Why did you go so far out yes. of the way to save her? It, well, it wasn't out of the way. It was on the way, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't out of the way. It was like, we're in the same room. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was really... I was right there. Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? She's a bit Naomi, cold, isn't she? She, she really does not like there's steak. Reason. There's a reason for it. Yeah, yeah there's reasons hard. that will become apparent she, later. She's a spurned lover, ex -lover. Actually, by, by Metal Gear Solid 4, you'll find out all of the reasons, I think. I know, you'll find out... To him. No, Sorry, she's sorry. not. You'll find out why she doesn't like him in this one. Yeah, but the whole... The, there's all the other... There's reasons. There's other reasons on top of it, isn't there? Is it Naomi in 4, or am I being an idiot? Naomi is in Metal Gear Solid 4, but she's... Right. That, that All that stuff is resolved in this one, pretty much. There's other stuff in Battle Against Solid 4, yeah. Hey! Oh, clouds. <laughs> the clouds. The clouds, the clouds. Oh my god. And the big yellow thing, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Why is that yellow thing? It's like a, a bit know. close up on a banana, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, that should be some like. Tss, 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 <laughs> like thing over this. It just has that sort of. that sort of look to it. <laughs> Oh, through that door, number five door, out the back. Now the next bit is the cool bit with the wolves. Uh, there's a couple of tricks you can do here that are quite funny and useful, but I guess... Do you want to go at that bit now, or do you want to stop it after this? Well, let's do it, we've got 20 minutes. Press F1, Chris. I can read. I'll wait until the FMV's over first. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presence and future. Yeah, he's quite, he's quite a disturbed character, this guy, so he sort of talks about not really... Believing in the cause. Um, oh, he's got, he's got a weird face. He's got a, he's got a not very nice face. That I peered into was uh, but he just he, but he sort of joined them because Liquid gave him an opportunity just to kill as many people as he could. He wasn't really that interested. Uh, do you not get to see his face? Some of them. You do. Um, you do. It's not that it matters. It is pixelated. It's not like it, you can see that much. You can still see the, the, the damage, though, compared to the other characters. Yeah, this is all the all the sort of philosophy of the game coming out as well, where he's talking about what is the purpose of life, and it's sort of there's a quite a cold philosophy of the only purpose of life is to propagate its own existence, and the only purpose purpose of being alive is to keep your bloodline going, your DNA must live on. Um, and that's the I'm only cool with that. Which is a bit foreshadowing as well, isn't which it? is sort of what the game's about. But then he's saying that that Solid Snake and Liquid Snake on. Like that, they're they're not in that loop. They they exist outside of that. They're not in the natural order of things, and that's why he sort of likes them because they're not just like everything else. He so he find he finds the propagation of life sickening to him. So you can see he's got like a big scar around his head and yeah, where he's had his brain removed. And it looks like he's had his mouth sewn up as well. He's got like stitches across his mouth. And, and he despised me. Or that's just a scar, I don't know, but he looks grim. He's got, he's got sad eyes like everyone else as well. Uh, everyone in this game's got those sad eyes. Yeah. Except the uh, the Chinese lady who's got beautiful black eyes. Well, you don't see any in-game model of her, so it's just a little little anime codec face. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I think the clouds and the no, no, really are. Everyone's village down. In these yeah. Games. <laughs> yeah, everyone burns the village down, don't they? And they're all living villages as well. None of them are from towns or cities. From cities, yeah. <laughs> every, every, all the world's greatest weirdo super soldiers are all born in little villages. Don't you know that? 
<laughs> I'm actually really, it's stressing me out, this uh, emulator. I'm, I'm really looking forward to moving on to the consoles. Is this is this stuff appearing in the stream as well, all this crazy yellow yeah. stuff? Yeah, unfortunately, everything you see. It's even worse than the stream. It's really flickering really fast. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> If anybody is having a epilepsy, epilepsy warning, yeah, I've already said that. <laughs> do not watch this if you're pregnant. Do not watch this if you have epilepsy. Don't or... watch it if you're pregnant. This video stream <laughs> ostensibly contains no. I've got a call. Hey, I didn't die during Psychomantis. Yeah, that was a uh, well man. That was a no death. Run. I didn't want a well done. Thank you, you facetious <laughs> bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> you're obviously proud of it. You think you're smacked by a chair? I am proud of every moment in my life. I saw you. Every you moment. Be. Oh, Meryl's up. Very sane. Meryl has a little bit of a thing for you, Snake. Obviously. Yes. Hang on. Look at it. Doesn't, isn't Psychomantis back in... But I do not know four? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. In, in, after a fashion, he is, yeah. Because he's but, controlling the, be the Beauty and the Beast unit, isn't he? Yeah, way to spoil it. Like, yeah. oh, come on, yeah. no one knows who that is yet. Chris. <laughs> no, but I, can't, I can't remember. Yeah, he is. His like, he's uh, yeah. They they sort of explain it that he's part of the the AI thing as well. But yeah, oh, basically God. he is. I can't remember that bit. I I, be, I can't remember the story for four much. I'll be honest. I played it it's, through once and it was it was long. It's it was so long complicated game. as well. This is actually I've... relatively simple in comparison to the rest of the games as well. Two it onwards, is, yeah. it just goes mental. Uh, I mean, I can't even—I don't even know what happens at the end of the two. Really. Well, there is there is an issue with the narrative that it wasn't obviously he keeps making the sequels as they come, so he keeps adding more stuff to the lore of the narrative. I, 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 on top of it, he doesn't. It's not planned it out. He just yeah. keeps sort of going. Here's another chapter. I'm going to add this into the into the history. So they get more complicated as more details are given about the stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah that's. Obviously, by the time you get to the Phantom Pain, that's like incredibly complicated. Given that that game's going to be merging Solid Snake and Big Boss together, I hope, or I think it might do. It should do. If they don't, it, then they can fuck off. It's the right time frame. It's Solid Snake in the time <laughs> frame. I'm not, should be I'm not buying six if, if that if that doesn't happen. There's, yeah, no, there's just no point. There's absolutely no point in getting rid of David Hayter if that isn't the case. Yeah. Because it is, it's, it's just a kick in the nuts to the fans, isn't it? It's ridiculous. A kick in the nuts to the, to the fans who speak English. You have to remember, there's a Japanese actor, and apparently that he's the Japanese same. actor is the same. He hasn't been. Yeah. He's still so, playing him, which is... I think they might have done that for a twist, though, though. I think they might have done that just for a laugh. Yeah. Do you not think they've you know, really done it to, to bring new blood to the series? No one knows who David Hayter is, apart from the fans of the series, but if they want to sell Wait. more copies of well, Metal Gear Solid, then surely they want to bring to new people to the table. I, I agree that is also maybe a point. Um, David Hayter is a quite a famous actor and screenplay writer. and He's not really acted in other things, but he's, he's, he's quite well known as, as a, uh, like a script writer and a producer. He produced and wrote, I think, the first two X-Men films. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. And he sort of does. He sort of does a lot of stuff like that, where he's not like a big name like Steven Spielberg, but he's a he's a man who works in Hollywood and works on quite a lot of things. He's also um, quite a big, um, big gamer himself. He does he does like mm -hmm. playing lots of different games. And he kind of does. He did the Solid Snake thing just as a. He just enjoyed it. It wasn't really his job. Job like it's not his bread and butter. Um, oh, see, you got to put it back into control the port one now that you finished the fight. <laughs> he. So the next bit of the game, we're going to go through some very dark cave areas, and there's some wolf dog husky type things out there. Um, okay. Now they will attack you, and you have to come through this place a couple of times. And there's a funny little, they like Meryl, so there's a funny little glitch you can do. Um, but Chris, have you got any cardboard boxes in your inventory yet? Not yet, no. Don't. There's a there's this little trick you can do where basically if you punch Meryl and then equip a cardboard box straight away, the dogs will growl, and then we on the box. And then when you go to that area again, you equip the cardboard box and it smells like their wee and they don't attack you. Otherwise, yeah, they will attack I, you. I did know about that one. I actually did that um, from um, some kind of guide that I followed at one point. I don't know. Yeah, years you need ago. a cardboard box for that to work. But for the first time passing through this area, it doesn't work anyway. You have to do it at the end of the area. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll find a cardboard box somewhere. Should we, should, while we're out of this, should we try and modify the... Try and get this... Thing working 
Uh, <clears throat> not in the middle of the stream, because I don't know what it'll be. Yeah, it's already 20 past 8 as well, in today's time. Right then. Uh, we'll run it <laughs> as opposed to tomorrow's time. Well, I, I'm thinking more about the fact that once it's on YouTube, it's going to be there forever, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think I think <laughs> I'm going to cut. Uh, I'm going to cut the the beginning and just watch the run through again. Do you reckon? On YouTube, when I put it to YouTube, shall I cut all the beginning because I redid redid did it? We, did we say no, anything keep funny? Keep the first play no, through, then just join it to the to the bit where you. I think just cause... leave it as is. I think I think it was entertaining. I hope it was and there's some good stuff good stuff while we talked about while you were right, getting right. cats back up so don't touch it keep your keep your snip, you. snippity snippy snippy things off it look yeah you would scissors look at that reflection yeah. look at the reflections though yeah they know how to use mirrors Chris <laughs> did you make a mirror of the weekend then though? no I didn't I didn't get a chance of course you didn't because he can't <laughs> no, <me too. laughs> oh it's on bitch <laughs> 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 he said this five days ago. Yeah. The thing <laughs> is, is the, the funny thing is, and I said this to Steve when you left, you went to have a wank or something. I uh, I said this to Steve. I said I actually don't care. I know how to do it. I just don't care at the moment about the mirror. I'm perfectly yeah. happy that's, with how it works. That's what people say who don't know how to do things. That's what people say. That's what people say who have got way too many things to do and not enough yeah, time in their hands. Wolf dogs, half wolf. Sometimes wolves, people just so really much. don't care. Dogs wolf friends. dogs. I'm a musher. Yeah, they're like you know dogs that have bred with wolves. It's so if you go to Meryl's going to take you up through the main bit, but you can go. I think there's some goodies if you go straight to the right, to the very right end of this area. I believe could be wrong. There might even be a cardboard box there if you're lucky. So yeah, it's very dark in this area as well. Now there are night vision goggles. In the game, the thermal goggles won't help you that much here, apart from seeing the, the wolves, but they won't help you with the area much, I don't think. They're again very cool looking. Oh, there she is, she's already through to the other side. But you can't see full through there, you've got to go around the, the wolf zone. Yeah, I was just checking to see if I could see anything special. Don't know why, but it reminds me of the caves in the um, original Iron Man movie. Start. <laughs> yeah. Dark caves, they probably all look a bit alike, don't they, really? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit dark and rocks on the side of that. It's a bit cavey. <laughs> yeah. Scratch down in the snow for a bit. Dog! Oh, dog you got run over by a dog. <laughs> and you can use stun grenades on them and they'll sort of fall over for a few seconds. And then you can get get away. Now, and obviously, then like, come in. if you were going for, like, you... If you were going for your big boss, you can kill them, yeah, but that's not very nice, is it? You, if you're going for your big boss, no detection ranking. I don't think these count as detections because you pretty much can't get through this area without them seeing you. Oh uh, my god, get off, you eaten. bastards. It's tearing your nipples off. Oh, oh dude. I know you're right. I would say lob a stun grenade, mate, because this isn't going say well. That. I'm getting ready with the death count. Not C4! Oh my god! C4! <laughs> <laughs> That'll definitely take them down. <laughs> Is the, item selection, is the item selection really yeah, hard on that controller die. or something? Sorry? Is the item selection really hard on that controller or something? You know what it is, more than anything? It, it's the fact that I can't hear the game perfectly well, and I'm, I'm struggling. I usually work with, like, feedback from, you know, from the sound. It's quite yeah, important, yeah. as we've, we've mentioned a number of times. I think we so have. I, I can't, like, it's just hard. It's just hard to... If you crash down here... There you go. I knew there was something, and that's what I was looking for. Was it's like to find... there's a couple of extra little bits where you can pick stuff up. I can't it's believe it one... blew those dogs up and it didn't do anything to them. It did. There was just it... another one. Oh. It killed two of them with two bits of C4. Ooh, die as a pam. You definitely want that. Oh um, yeah. So if you go under and then to your left, stay, you might as well stay crawling. Oh no, don't, because they're going to attack you. <laughs> I think there's another little crawling room you can get. I think the night vision goggles might be in there as well, actually. Which makes this section in particular a lot easier than the night vision goggles. Where are they? No, down. Go down. Back where you were then, to your left. I believe there's another one there. I think you can crawl through there. No. Somewhere. Oh, that, I must be wrong. Sorry, then go to your right. Metal Gear dog food. And then crawl through there and you're there through the section. The night vision goggles, I'm not sure where they are then. Um, we'll pick him up later, I guess. Solid dog. 
And this is where you can do the little punch Meryl glitch. Uh, not a glitch, it's more of a an Easter egg, but... Uh, oh, I think so. Yeah, they, they like her, they won't attack her. They, little, they get little little parts above their heads, I think. When did he say that? When did he say he was good with dogs? Um, he said... It's in the opening sequence, was it? Yeah, when, when, he, when he was there... Um, what did you just do? No, no, not without a cardboard box, they'll just attack you, mate. You attack him, then equip the cardboard <laughs> box, and then they wee on it, but if you don't have a cardboard box, then you just get attacked. Yeah, I know that. Um, he says that he says that they're wolf dogs. I'm a musher. I used to I used to you know ride sleds with them. So he did say that at the beginning of this section. And then okay, proceeded so to get eaten by dogs for the next ten minutes. Do you reckon I save? Well, this is the introduction of Sniper Wolf. So shall I save or shall we do this bit? Um, you could you can maybe go. This place is yeah. Mine. Yes and no. It's a boss, but basically something happens to Meryl, and you have to go back and find a sniper rifle. So there's, we're about to enter a backtracking section. Um, I would say keep the uh, cut it here then. Yeah. Since one half eight. Yeah, probably best to cut it there. I'll tell you what, I'll save the scene right there. And, uh, and that'll do. Yeah. Right, so guys, thank you very much. Sorry for the uh, technical problems with Hello Sam, by the way. Mythalo is in the chat. Just said hello, how are you doing? Um, we've just finished. That's how we're doing. We've um, we've got up to the Sniper Wolf section in Metal Gear Solid. So hopefully, what another one or two sessions, possibly? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe if more we, if, actually. If you think of thinking about it, it, it might be. Fair, Remember, we would have got a lot further there if it wasn't for that like mess up the way to start again, wasn't it? Well, not that much further because it did only take me ten minutes to get to that point again. True. Well, it took us a while to get there the first time, though, didn't it? <laughs> yes. The death count hasn't changed. No, it hasn't. Ah, <laughs> see, oh, 11. you bastards. You're very well so, there. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm chuffed with that so far. So, um, right. Yes. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back next Monday playing the same game again. Yep. We'll also be back on Wednesday where we'll be talking about game characters and. We yeah. should be playing something on Friday. I don't know what yet. No. Um, uh, or who Rainbow will be playing Six, it? No. Probably. No. Um, but yes, um, I, I I should be around for it. Fingers crossed. Well, um, if not, then it's going to be a bit of a sad co-op game. Well, it? it's not going to be a co-op game. <laughs> it's going to be a blank screen. Um, yes. So thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll uh, we'll catch you later. See you later. See you next time. <laughs> Steak. Steak. Steak!